Hey, and welcome to Girl Be Free, a podcast designed to help women get unstuck and cultivate the life you want on your terms. I'm Siobhan, your host, and I'm passionate about empowering women to live their best life. Each week, you'll hear pep talks that will inspire and push you to take action so you too can start to be free and live the life you want. You can learn more about me at BeFreeProject.com. Now let's jump into the show. This episode of the Girl Be Free podcast is being sponsored by the Be Free Inner Circle, an exclusive online community where positive, like-minded women gather, connect, support, and learn how to cultivate the life they deserve. The Be Free Inner Circle membership includes live monthly group coaching calls and office hours, masterclasses and workshops that will cover topics such as consistency and discipline, self-care, and creating a vision for your life, just to name a few, a resource library where you can print out articles, worksheets, and workbooks, a book club so that we have a space to discuss some of our favorite books, and the most important part is accountability and community support from women who are on the same wavelength as you and that are on a similar path who wants to be free. And a bonus feature, every member of the Be Free Inner Circle will have access to my live in-person monthly Be Free meetups where you'll be able to view live stream right from your computer screen. So I know you're excited and you want to be a part of the Be Free Inner Circle. So don't worry, I got you covered. Just go to BeFreeInnerCircle.com to learn more and sign up today. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the Girl Be Free podcast. I'm your host, Siobhan, where I am going to inspire and motivate you to show up for yourself. This week, I am loving Red Table Talk. This is a show on Facebook with Jada Pinkett Smith her mother, and her daughter, Willow. And they have open and honest conversations about things that we are not talking about on a day-to-day basis. And y'all know I love that, hence the reason why I host my monthly events, the Be Free Meetup. And some of the conversations that they've had so far um, has been about blended families, how to grieve after loss and body image, And then they also have like a live chat afterwards where they take some of the questions from the viewers and the conversations are so good. And it's right, excuse me, it's exactly what we need at this time. And like I've said before, like we need more spaces where we as women can have conversations that's going to challenge us to grow and dig deep and start to really learn and love ourselves. So if you have not watched it yet, definitely check out Red Table Talk on Facebook. It comes on every Monday, so you can check it out there. Just search for it. All right, on to today's topic, which is I almost lost my life this weekend. All right, so no, this is just not clickbait. This is a true story that happened this past Saturday. I was on my way to get my nails done um, and I was driving down the street in my residential neighborhood. So I'm driving and I look to my left as I approach this intersection. I have the right of way. The car that's or the SUV that's coming down heel has to stop at the stop sign. I look to my left and I notice that she is driving really fast and she's not going to stop. And so as I notice that the car is approaching me really fast, I swerve my car out the way and she flies right past me through the stop sign, never looking my way. Y'all, I was shook. I pull my car over because I'm like, what just happened? And I, my heart is beating real fast. And in that moment, I'm like, my life would have been over just like that. She was coming so fast downhill that if I would not have swerved my car out the way, she would have crashed right into me and I would be dead. No exaggeration, no lie at all. And so I'm, as I'm sitting in my car thinking and processing what had just happened, I was like, oh my goodness, like God sees me. And that my life had literally just been saved in that moment. I have no idea what she was thinking about, what 
was causing her to speed. All I know is that my life could have ended and every one that I love, everything that I'm working for, everything that I'm stressing out over, like would have ended in that moment. And it made me realize that as I started driving, like after kind of calming myself down after a few minutes, I started driving, but I was driving really slow because I was still scared. And thankfully the nail um, tech, she was right around the corner from where I live. So I didn't have to travel far. But as I was driving, I was thinking, Everything that I'm tripping off of, everything that I'm stressing out about, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Like what matters is that I'm alive and that I am breathing and that I have another opportunity to spend, you know, time with the ones that I love. But the things that are just minute that won't matter a month, a week from now, a year from now. I need to let that stuff go. And that's what I felt in that moment. Like everything that has just been frustrating me, like at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. And so I'm sharing this, not just to get the story out, but to encourage you on your journey, right? Because that's what this podcast is for, is to inspire you and motivate you to show up for yourself. And as I'm going through things and I'm experiencing life, I'm sharing it with you. And so I want to share this to encourage you to let go of everything and everyone that does not serve you well. Whatever is causing you to be upset, to fear, to be stressed, at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. So I want you to zoom out. And focus on the things that really matter. The things that can shift your life in a different direction. Focus on, or excuse me, appreciate the time that you are alive and breathing. And now more than anything, like, is the time to think about, okay, what do I love? What do I need to let go of? How am I going to make a meaningful impact in this world? How am I going to live out my purpose and my calling? The other stuff, let go of. And the time that you're here on earth, let's make the most of our time, y'all. Let's not get caught up in stuff that just serves no purpose at all. But let's figure out our gifts, our talents, our purpose, and live life to its fullest and unapologetically. No more wasting it on things that don't matter because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, right? Time is of the essence and all we really have is this moment. And from the story that I shared, your life could literally be over just like that. I mean, I was going about my regular day on a Saturday morning about 10 o'clock a.m., driving down the street. And if I didn't look to my left, that car would have crashed right into me and I would not be speaking to you right now. So again, I understand that God sees me, that there is something on my life to be a light and empower others to be free. And every single day, I got to work my butt off to make sure that I'm getting this purpose out and helping impact the masses of people that follow and that are connected to my brand. And this is not just for me. But because you have an opportunity to listen to this right now is to inspire and to motivate you to look at your life and start to do work that you're passionate about. Stop complaining and making excuses. Stop waiting on somebody to come and save you. You are the captain of your ship. So go out there and sail, right? Forgive who needs to be forgiven and live your life. So that is the message. This is a quick one today. Um, I'm going to be taking a little break shortly from podcasting just so you guys can catch up on some of the episodes that, um, um, so you can go back and listen to some of the episodes because they were really, really good. So I'm going to reshare some of those. I'm going to take a little break for a little bit, um, just for a couple of weeks. So don't you worry, but this will give you perfect time to binge and listen to some of the previous episodes. And y'all, I do want to share this. I have reached over 10,000 downloads 
for the Girl Be Free podcast. That is amazing. That is exciting. I was checking the stats the other day and I'm like, oh my goodness. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who has been sharing the podcast. Keep doing it. Make sure that you're subscribed. Share it on your Instagram stories, Instagram, text it to your friends. Help me to continue to get the word out about the Girl Be Free podcast, especially if it's making an impact in your day. All right. So your action step is very simple this week and it is to be present in the moment, to practice mindfulness, and to show up for yourself. That's all I got for this week. Um, Also, I want to let you know that the next Be Free Meetup is coming up on June 16th, which is a Saturday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tickets are available. We're going to sell out, um, especially when I start the countdown. So definitely take advantage and get your ticket ASAP. The early bird special ends on Friday, June 1st. So you want to go ahead and get your ticket now. And then I'm very, very, very excited to announce that the Be Free Inner Circle membership site launches this Friday, June 1st. Y'all, it's going to be lit like the young kids say, right? And so if you haven't yet, make sure that you sign up to be in the loop so that you know once it, you know when it launches and you have that open invitation because it's only going to be open to a small group of women this first round. So definitely sign up for that. The link is in the show notes. Um, And then you'll also get a list of affirmations when you sign up. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope this message was inspiring to you. I am still like, I don't want to say that I'm shook, but I keep thinking about the, you know, what happened this past Saturday. And when I think about it, tears well up in my eyes because I'm like, my life could have been over just like that. And I still got work to do. I still got to show up for myself and I still have to encourage you guys to do the same. So thank you so much for listening. And until next time, girl, be free. Thank you so much for listening. Your support means the world to me. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. And if you're feeling really fancy, go ahead and leave a review. Until next time, be free and live.